Now, looking at it as like an umbrella term, we have two main styles of shoreline systems. Those exist on passive margins or those that exist on active margins. Now, the beaches that will exist on passive margin, which means that there is no active tectonism that is currently occurring, which means that you have no convergence. You're not residing on a subduction zone or you have no divergence, essentially meaning that you're not residing on some kind of place tectonic boundary. Now beaches on the passive margins, a good example would be like those on the east coast of the United States. So if you're familiar with the Outer Banks of North Carolina where you can get these nice low-lying, low-profile and low-gradient flat sandy beaches. Conversely speaking, if we are looking on an active margin, that means that there is active tectonism that is occurring. Generally speaking, those are usually it is a subduction zone. Um, on these active margins, you are going to get more steep and cliff-like, where you have these rock exposures for a majority of that margin and that boundary. So two main different styles of beaches here. Now, if we think of the kind of coastlines that we as humans like to interact with, it is more likely that we are going to interact with these beaches that exist on the passive margin. But definitely, we do have areas um, around our world where humans are still residing and interacting on beaches that are residing on active margin systems.